In this video, we are going to discuss about input tax and output tax. Output tax is the tax on sales. Like when we are sending the sales invoices to our customer, we have already included the output tax in the sales revenue amount and the total receivable will be calculated by accumulating sales tax amount so that is the output tax input tax is the tax we pay on purchases and the customer collect the input tax and pay on behalf of us to the tax authorities and output tax is the tax we collect and pay to the tax authorities so let's go in the system and configure sales out, output and input tax sales and purchases tax so let's go so different types of tax codes are used for defining different percentages of tax and the tax procedure is defined at the country level so in the same country we are choosing same percentages of taxes so let's go and configure so we, I am going to SPRO screen reference IMG financial accounting financial accounting global setting tax on sales and purchases basic setting so I am going to define the calculation procedure define procedure so I have to define the procedure for our country Let's go and define the procedure. So I'm going to copy one procedure. Let's go and copy this and define for our country tax PK Pakistan taxes and share this copy all so tax procedure is copied now and we will see the control data so you are, you can see output tax and input tax is calculated based on the base amount base amount is the amount of invoice so system will calculate and apply the tax rates on the base amount so if we have 10% of output tax so system will apply the 10% amount on the base amount so this is the way system will calculate output taxes so calculation procedure is defined now we have to assign this procedure to the country Let's go and define this for our country PK. So tax PK is assigned to the country. Now I have completed the basic setting. So let's go in the calculation of tax. So different types of tax codes are defined to calculate different percentages of tax so you can see 10% for 10% output we are using A0 for P, P0 is used for 10% input like this multiple tax codes can be created so I am going to create A1 for 5% So I'm going to define it 5%. This is for 10%. Go back. 
So I'm going to create A1. So it is output tax 5%. Tax type is A. percent output tax so like this you can create multiple types of tax codes so I'm going to define the posting so whenever the system post the tax amount it will simultaneously post to the general ledger accounts so we have to define the general ledger accounts in the posting keys so the posting keys for output tax is MWS I'm going to define the rule so this is for our chart of account chart of account and I'm going to assign the output tax general ledger account So this is for output tax and save this. Let's go and define the general ledger account for input taxes. So for input tax, I'm going to define the rule. And in the rule, I will specify my chart of account POA1. And I'm going to define the general ledger account. So this is three. Now save this. So this is the way we can create the tax procedure, tax code and assign the tax general ledger accounts. So that's all for this video.